This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can use mock-up templates with Photoshop. Mock-up templates are a great way to demonstrate how your designs look when applied to a real-world context. They add a layer of professionalism and help to sell the viewer on the utility of the design rather than the design itself. And the best part is that they're pretty easy to use, as you'll see in just a minute. You can download these templates for free on sites like Graphic Burger, and there's also sites with premium templates you can purchase if you're looking for something specific. So when you download your template, you should notice that there is a PSD file to open. If you notice here, this one example is logo mockup by PuneDesign.psd. So just go ahead and double click that to open it up with Photoshop and you should end up with something like this right here. And in the middle of this mockup, you can see this example design. This is what we're going to change. Now what we're going to be paying attention to here is over here on the right hand side in the layers tab, we're going to be looking for a layer, a layer that's titled with placeholder. Now it's not always labeled placeholder, sometimes it's labeled with edit this layer or put your design here. There should be some kind of text that makes it obvious to you that this is the layer you need to be editing. And sometimes it's hidden in these collapsible folders, so just be sure to look through there if you don't see it uh, front and center like I have here in this example. So once you see this layer, once you've identified it, you just have to double click this little icon, the little thumbnail preview. And it'll open up the example design in a new tab, as you can see here. Now this design represents what's applied to this mock-up right here. So all we have to do is, I'm just going to turn off the visibility of this design right here. And I'm going to click here to add a new layer. And just as an example, I'm just going to grab the paintbrush right here. I'm just going to paint something like that. And I'm going to go to File, Save. And if you come over here, you'll notice that has been applied to this template. So let me come back over here. Now if you want, you can go ahead and create your design right here on the document. If you already have a design that you'd like to apply to this mock-up, let me show you how to do that. So let me get rid of this layer right here. Let me click that little trash can icon. I'm going to bring my folder in here. If you notice, I have this example logo design right here. I'm just going to click and drag this into Photoshop. Now make sure when you do this that you're using a, a .png image that has a transparent background, as you can see mine does here. There is a gray or dark gray space within the negative areas of this logo. If you're using a JPEG with like a white border or a white background, it's not going to work as well. So make sure you have a PNG image. I'm going to click and drag this into Photoshop here and it's going to place it right there and I want to move this up a little bit I'm just going to click and drag to move it up I'm going to hold shift so it locks it onto the vertical axis like that and then I just want to scale this down a little bit I'm going to click and drag this handle right here and then I'm going to hold alt while I'm doing that so it scales it from the center like that and let me just bring that up a little more again holding shift to lock it onto the uh, vertical axis and once I'm happy with the size and the placement I'm just going to press enter on the keyboard to place it and then I'll go to file save and then if you come back over here, you should see the logo design has been applied to this paper mock-up here. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. That's how easy it is to make your designs have a real-world look and feel to them using these mock-up templates. Now, if you don't have Photoshop, there is a way that you can still do this using a web-based application called PhotoP. I'll have a link in the description to a tutorial where I demonstrated that as well. So that should do it for this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.